In this video, we're going to be looking at the iCOS of BMM version 2.0, which is a diagnostic scan tool for BMW and mini vehicles. And we're really going to be looking at you know, everything you need to know, the top questions before you buy this tool. So let's get into the vehicle and let's get into the review. So one of the first questions is, what is the BMM version 2.0? Basically, this tool is a diagnostic scan tool, OBD2 scan tool or diagnostic scanner, uh, however you want to pronounce it, which will allow you to hook up to your BMW or your Mini to diagnose any fault in that vehicle. So if you've got a warning light, like an airbag light, check engine light or any other warning light that you need to diagnose or the car isn't running properly, then this tool will allow you to find the problem. Once you've fixed the problem, you can obviously reset the warning light and reset the fault codes in the EC you as well. So where to buy the diagnostic tool? This kit is available. I'll put, I'm going to put two links in the description below this video. The first link is at Diagnostic World. The second link is Amazon. If you go through these links, you will get genuine products, 100% genuine iCOS or products. Unfortunately, fakes and clones do exist on the market. Don't be tempted to go for really, really cheap tools because they won't give you the information you need. They won't pick up all of the faults and you, you will basically be getting a tool which probably won't last um, you know, very long at all. So if you go through the links in the description, then you will get a, di a genuine diagnostic package. Uh, how much is the tool right now on Diagnostic World? I think it's about £149. Uh, Amazon, I think you probably pay around about the same, roughly, give or take a few pounds. Um, but, you know, it's, it's entirely up to yourself which, uh, which website you want to go through. But generally, you're going to pay around about £150 for this product. Uh, how is the tool product? The product takes its power from the vehicle battery so you can see we have a cable running into the top of the tool here the other end of this cable is plugged into the diagnostic port which is down there and that's how it takes its uh that's how it takes its power. It doesn't have an internal battery. Now, what manufacturers are covered? Well, the answer is in the name of the product. BMM stands for BM and Mini. So it covers BMW and Mini vehicles. Um, it does cover other makes and models for the engine system only, and you can do that by clicking this option here. But we'll come to that in a second. Now, what systems are covered? Well, it all really depends on your exact vehicle. While I'm doing that, I'm just gonna turn this buzzer off because I find the beep quite annoying. Um, so we're in a BMW X1 here, so you can click on to BMW or Mini, but as an example, I'm gonna click on BMW. And it's uh, accept X3 because it's an X1. So we're gonna manually select, it's giving us an option to go through 103 different systems ultimately though you're going to get the main systems which will be the engines the abs the airbags and the transmission but i'm going to scroll through here to show you access to what you'll get so there's the airbags uh, and there's the abs as well the dsc so if you want to see this a little bit more detail then just pause the screen which you need to look at i'm just going to scroll through these really quickly because there's 103 to get through Okay, so those are the systems you can actually diagnose and reset, reset faults, reset warning lights associated with these systems. This, all, this tool also has what is known as special functions. So the question would be, what special functions does it cover? Again, it's, it depends really on the exact vehicle, but ultimately you're gonna get access to oil service reset, electronic park and brake, new battery registration, electronic throttle calibration, steering angle sensor calibration and reset, DPF reset and regeneration. Um, now there is an update which will add injector coding and also um, ABS brake bleeding. This tool just needs a little bit of an update. Uh, but once you update the tool, those two options will appear there. So these are the special functions that will uh, appear on your tool. Um, so it gives you a good amount of what I would say DIYers would generally look for in a diagnostic tool. Um, what kind of fault does it give, or what kind of fault information does it give when diagnosing a fault? So we're gonna go through that here, <clears throat> excuse me. 
I've got a check engine light and an airbag light. I've lost my voice temporarily there. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we're going to manual. So we're going to go to the engine system first of all, and we'll see if we can get a fault for the check engine light. So we'll click on to read fault code. It's giving us one of two, so it's, there's two faults there. It's giving us a unique code and a description of the fault. All right, we'll go to the next one. Again, it's a unique code and it's a description of the fault. It doesn't really matter what we get in this case because I'm just using it as an example. But what we can do is just click on to clear fault memory. And as an example, I click F2 here. When I do that, just keep an eye on the check engine light. That's how the process will work. Generally though, for that to happen, you will need to have maybe replaced the sensor or check the connections, something like that. Uh, the same really applies for the airbag system, so let's go into that, the SRS. Read fault code. Again, we've got one of three, so we've got one fault there with a description. Again and again. These, although it's giving us three faults, it's really just one fault, but it's triggered three different codes, if you like. And again, clear fault memory. When I click F2, just keep an eye on the airbag light. It hasn't gone off, has it? Should have gone off. Maybe sometimes what you'll need to do is either back out of the system or just simply turn the engine off and on again. Hmm. Well, that hasn't done it there. I'm thinking maybe what we did is we unclipped a connection underneath the driver's, uh, the passenger seat, and um, I'm thinking that probably it may not have been put back together properly. Let's just try that again. Ah, there we go. It, ha it had been put back together. Oh no, it hasn't. No, we still got it. Well, we'll check that out um, later, but ultimately that is what will happen. Um, this is this is a good example of what will happen if the fault hasn't been fixed, actually. You'll be able to clear the codes, but it won't allow you to actually reset the warning light. There we go. So, okay, next up um, is, is it a touch screen? The answer is no, it's not a touch screen. It gives the impression that it might be, but you do need to use the toggle buttons in order to navigate your way around the menu systems. Um, how much are updates? Updates are free, providing you buy a genuine tool. So if you go through one of the links I gave you uh, in the description below this video, you'll get a genuine tool. That means you will pay nothing for life for updates. You get lifetime free updates. Um, if you don't buy a genuine tool, well then we can't guarantee you'll get updates at all um, and they certainly probably won't be free you may be charged for them you know these there are fraudsters out there who are looking to get money out of people in every which way they can so the chances are if you want to update it the, you know they will make you uh, pay for it uh, updates are very easy to do but you do need a Windows laptop or PC unfortunately there is no software available for Apple or Mac systems uh, you do need to use a Windows operating system to do the updates on one of these uh, how does it compare to the MB, uh, sorry, the BM version 1.0 kit? This is the 1.0. I've done a, si a very similar style video for the the 1.0, and uh, ultimately though, this tool here, the 2 version 2.0, will do everything that the version 1.0 will do. But obviously, this tool here has additional service functions. So both tools have got the service reset. The two, version 2.0 has the electronic parking brake, the battery registration, electronic throttle control, steering angle sensor, DPF, and then also injector coding and ABS brake bleeding. So it, it goes into a little bit more depth and a little bit more detail if, you, if that's maybe what you are looking for. Um, where can you get help and support if you go through the genuine routes you know go to diagnostic world providing you bought it from them they will give you the the help and support you need for this tool because they have quick links to the icarsoft engineers if you bought it from amazon uh, you may get health support you may not they may just ask you to return it for a refund uh, generally that's the way it goes with amazon so if you want to if you want a, a product where you're going to get be able to speak to somebody and get help and support then i would certainly recommend going through diagnostic world uh, can you print faults you can but it's not very user friendly way to do it you need to record the data whatever you're doing then uh, take the SD card out put it into your computer and then print them via whatever word processing uh, document you use it's not user friendly languages you can have different languages on here 
the moment the tool has English, German, Dutch, French and Spanish. And what about the box instructions? Oops, a daisy. So, well, the box contents, should I say. This is the box here. Very nice, sturdy box. But inside the box, you will get a carry pouch, which is also quite nice. And this basically allows you to you know, keep it in the glove box of your car. Um, you get a user manual, you get a USB cable, and the uh, this cable here in this section here. So, that's everything you will get in the box. Uh, is it easy to use? Well, I think you've seen how I've been sort of navigating around the menu system, that it is very easy to use. And yes, I would certainly recommend it to anybody who has little or no experience with one of these. The tool will work exactly the same for someone who has 40 years experience as it will for somebody who has no experience at all. But you can't do any damage to the vehicle. You can't do any damage to the tool, which is you know why these tools are, are so popular. Uh, what about other menu icons? Well, we've covered these two. If you go to voltage, gives you minimums and maximums data from the battery and also live data. So it gives you a good idea about the uh, the battery health. Uh, this option here, as I say, it'll allow you to diagnose engine faults on any other make or model. So that's quite a, a nice little feature to have. Uh, if you've recorded any data, you can review it on the screen. We haven't. You can look up diagnostic trouble codes. So if you wanted to know the description of a, a P0303 code, it'll tell you that this is still in the misfire on uh, cylinder three. Set up of the vehicle, you saw this earlier, language, unit measurements, you can put a beep on and off every time you press a button. You can uh, turn the, the data log on and off, clear the data, do a factory reset. Uh, help just gives you additional information about these three topics and about gives you the version and uh, software information on the actual tool itself so as i say i hope you have found this information uh, useful um, it doesn't double up as a tablet that's another question that we get actually uh, you can only serve as a diagnostic tool so you can't uh, you know surf the web on it as well there's no options for that uh, delivery is generally sort of one to three working days but you can you can expect it in one to two uh, but as I say, I hope you found this useful. I hope maybe if you are looking to buy this tool, it's giving you an idea of exactly what to expect when you receive it, exactly what you will be able to do and carry out. Uh, but as I say, if you want a genuine tool, then go through the links directly below this video. They will take you to the genuine product and you won't have any questions. Or you won't have any reason to question um, if it's a, a fake or a clone or not. Uh, well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next Scan Tool Network video.